bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Well, I'm glad you could join us. Uh, those of us who have enjoyed good health, and we sometimes wonder we take it for granted sometimes. And sometimes uh, things happen, and all of a sudden your life changes, and you've got to make certain adjustments, I might say. Uh, Stan Goldberg is here right now. He's a writer, and he's written a book called Lessons for the Living. And I guess, Stan, when you found out you had prostate cancer, that sort of changed your life in many ways. Yeah, I, uh, the prognosis was indeterminate. And uh, my way of coping with it initially was to lay in bed for three months and watch reruns of Law and Order. And uh -huh. when, when that didn't help, yeah. uh, that I, didn't cure it right there. It, it didn't do that, and it didn't do anything for my relationship with my wife. Yeah. So yeah. I looked for other ways, and I was led to the uh, the hospice ward at Laguna Honda, and I saw what I thought was the most peaceful look on people's faces I'd ever seen, and these were the volunteers. And I said, whatever they're experiencing, I want some of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you were uh, lying in bed for mm -hmm. a long period of time, um, what were you thinking about at that point? I was thinking about dying, um, yeah. and even though... I mean, had you given up, was that it? Or no. just sh in shock? I mean, what was your reaction? Uh, the, the shock never stopped. The shock was, was a continual process, and yeah. it was a matter of adjusting to it. Um, but I knew that there was a possibility, a very good possibility, that eventually the prostate cancer would kill me since it had metastasized. And instead of focusing on what I was doing on a daily basis, I kept thinking about my death. And that just wasn't very helpful. Yeah, that, that tends to you know, put a damper on the day. I it's found that out to be very true. Yeah, people yeah. don't like to hear about that at no, parties. No, <laughs> they don't want to hear about it. You're right. Okay, so the book came out of that, Lessons yeah. for the Living. And I'm assuming now the Lessons for the Living is to enjoy your life while you have it or, or something like that. Yeah, I, I think that that's a, that's a very good uh, broad statement of it. But there's very specific lessons that came out. And essentially what, what I found is people die the way they live. And if, if you want to have a, a better death, then you need to do something about having a better life on a daily basis. So there was lessons such as forgiveness, the importance of forgiveness, to be forgiven, uh, to give up things that no longer make any sense for mm -hmm. you or the people around you, mm -hmm. uh, to be grateful, and to live in the moment. Yeah. Uh, one of those terms which you might add, and I'm sure, mm -hmm. is letting go. Yeah. We have to let go of a lot of things in our daily life, whether we're ill or whether we're well, letting go of anger or disillusionment mm -hmm. or I wish I had that or wish I hadn't done that, that kind of thing. Absolutely. I, when, when I started the cancer treatments, um, I found that I couldn't do a lot of the outdoor things that I had based my life on. And it was very difficult letting go. And it, I came to realize by holding on to those, not only was I making my, my family's life miserable because they were always worried about me, but I was jeopardizing my life. Yeah. Yeah, interesting, you said uh, your outdoor life, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah. So how did an outdoors person take to bed for a long period of time? There's a contradiction there somehow. Stupidity. Ah, <laughs> just plain old stupidity, right? Yeah, it's, it was yeah. almost as if there was a fog that developed. And yeah. uh, I couldn't, you know, I, I taught at San Francisco State for, for 25 years, and I couldn't think rationally anymore, and I couldn't seemed to get the energy to move on. So it was just easier vegetating, and that's what I did. Yeah, yeah. And now? Um, now I'm just too busy living every day to worry about dying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And writing the book, cathartic uh, well, it experience? Well, was, it, was, it was cathartic in one way, but it also was um, inspirational. What I, ne I never intended to write the book. I was doing some other projects. Well, and let's I hope it helps other people too, all right? Stan Goldberg's been our guest. He is uh, an author, and his book is called Lessons for the Living. Thank you very much for joining us.